Hello guys and welcome back to Play the J. We're about ready for round number three and the second half of our Physics Invitational PUBG scrims round number four for the month of December and let's get into it and see who's going to be coming out on top here in this next round on Arendelle. So guys we did see that Min on Copy Jap were able to show two dominant performances able to get chicken dinner in both rounds one and two. Now can they do a frost fire and get three or maybe even surpass that and get a real nice flush there to close out the rest of uh, the games that we have for you this evening and uh, looking at how things are shaping up right here at the start we're going to be having quite a number of teams dropping out but only one team going to hang around the milta power region it's going to be face gaming very much their probing ground right now and uh, Frostfire are going to be going for Milta as well. Going to be one of their favorite spots but looks like Lipovka might be having both Gang FTY and Physics Gaming hanging out very close together. So potential hotspot might be over over here and uh, we actually do have two more players coming in for Gang FTY, Allens and Old Man Passion going to be strutting their stuff. Currently, Physics Gaming going to be a little bit further away here. Looks like Awang going to come in here, see whether he can catch out Demon Eater. Still no gun and going to have to make do with his punching fist, but nothing but air. And looks like Awang going to be moving along here, see whether or not he's attracted any other, uh, or rather managed to see any other players there while he decides to back out one kill in the early stages on the gang at UI, definitely going to be up there in terms of the things that you want to try and get your early game going but there's still going to be three more players left alive here and uh, we'll see how that shapes up a bit later on but circle is going to shift all the way to the western side of the map here and only covering a fraction of the team's adventure gold army factory uh stadium fighter lemon gimme gold and um Physrix Esports going to be hanging out there in the Gatka region. Currently, no one opting to go for Georgia Pole. I would expect to see Gaventure move all the way up to their proving ground pretty soon here after they manage to secure some early vehicles there. Going to help them out quite a bit. Flash Vision going for the apartment complex here at the school area for the time being. Looks like Red Sea getting vehicles and heading back to their hometown of Rosok. Pokoyo taking some flak there from Mr. Pa, not able to land too many connections. And there is also going to be stage gaming a little bit further to the north. So it looks like uh, Sim M here might be going for uh, maybe an ambitious uh, crash into the one of the players there, but uh, actually is going to be able to get safely inside the vehicle. So not going to be any early roadkill action there for Sim as they continue onwards to their respective looting spots. So we're already seeing that things are going to be shaping up a little bit in the early stages of the game as uh, teams are deciding to get into those early positions. Now Jay-Z Jay-Z is actually going to be trying to hold this angle, see whether or not he can catch out Allens as he's going to be moving out from that building and moving into the surrounding regions a little bit later on. So for the most part, he's quite separated from the rest of his team, but that's going to be a risk that they're willing to take here at these early stages. Now they can of course wait for Gang FTY to move out of here, but I think given that they have a little bit of an advantage in terms of numbers, I think Allens has actually managed to spot out Jay-Z Jay-Z and I think he's reevaluating his position as currently he doesn't actually have a helmet. One shot is going to be uh, doing it very nicely, but Jay-Z Jay-Z trying to look for a bit of a better angle here as he does wait for Allens to make any further moves there. But now with that repositioning going on here, he's just going to try and scope out a little bit more. I think he's going to, Allens is going to know where Jay-Z Jay-Z is right now. He's going to be looking out for that. But <clears throat> looks like Gang FTY are going to be pressing the issue here. See whether or not they can get on the board. Physics Gaming actually only started with the, the three players, I think. Unless I missed out on one of the, the early kills there. But Old Man Passion going to be hanging out for the time being as he tries to scope out where the other two players there for Physics Gaming are hanging out. But other teams here making their way over. It looks as though Haha Goose is the only one who's actually looting out for Rosso. Jay-Z Jay-Z actually getting on the board against M0 here. And Jay-Z Jay-Z takes down Allens as well. So looks bad for Gang FTY. They only have Old Man Passion and Jay-Z Jay-Z going to work here. And he's gonna surely claim these two kills. Old Man Passion gonna have to just hang out there for the time. Gang FTY not having the best of early games right now. And looks like they're gonna be very hard pressed to get that top or that third spot for a third game in a row. 
but x Bank taking quite a bit of hits there from Old Man Passion there, and now he has to try and navigate around the potential problems that they have here. But now Old Man Passion is going to rotate a little bit more around the side, see whether he can catch out Awang actually getting caught out in the open there after the nice flank coming out from Old Man Passion. And I think he knows now where x Bank might be, but unfortunately exposing himself a little bit too much behind the ice cream truck here. And now he's going to be lying prone there and Old Man Passion just not able to see him. And looks like that's going to be it there for Gang FTY. They go out in 17th position here. Now, everyone has uh, actually made a lot of early rotations coming in here, trying to take advantage of the flight path. So looks like we have Gold Army Factory coming into the hospital side of things. Stage Gaming going to be quite close by as well. Wilkes and... Uh, 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 and company is actually going to be on trying to get up the hill or trying to get away Get a little bit more breathing room as the whole of gold army factory going to be taking up this spot Looks like South George going to be still very much conventious territory, but they are spread somewhat thin here They only have uh, Well, they actually have children in the container area here But not going to be very concerted here or concentrated and won't be able to prevent too much of a, a battle, but I don't think there's going to be too many problems here. Gold Army Factory probably just going to continue to, to loot up here in the early stages of the game. KY is putting up some fire towards Adol. Now he's uh, taking quite a bit of fire already. It's up to KY, it's whether he can get some of those good shots off there. It looks like Adol going to be able to get away as Grizzum attracting a lot of fire from the Physrix esports players here for the time being. As uh, we're actually seeing that. Uh, a Stadium Fighter managing to uh, concentrate their position as well after they met up quite a bit with their team members. Primorse still going to be Vengeance hanging out there. Quacker going to be still looting up in the sign uh, signature. So Snovka Island not getting the favorable uh, circle that they did last round, but they didn't actually do, or in the last round on Aaron Gold, but they didn't actually do too fantastic in that round. And I think they got sandwiched a little bit by quite a number of the teams. We're already seeing some of these teams a bit further away, like Face Gaming here, starting to already make their early rotation. Now, uh, the teams can still opt to go quite quite far north, over the north of Yasnaya, trying to get inside the zone. It does offer quite a safe rotation route, given that uh, most of the teams would be opting to go directly inside. Teddy attracting fire now from Gold. Lemon Gimme Gold, but Sepulcher not able to land too many shots there as they're going to continue moving onwards. Frostfire had to move all the way from Milta and going straight for the center of the circle here. But looks like Rissi actually quite separated themselves, but Stage Gaming here pressing the issue. They're all piling inside this zone. Looks like KMF1 getting taken down and a road kill coming out from Nine Holy. Now Wilt's trying to see what he can do, but he's caught out in the open here and looks like Roy also moving um, into the position, but it looks like Young G going to get him with some good up and close and personal shotgun action right now. And now for the time being, it looks like it's only going to be uh, Imagine moving in through the zone. Nine Holy is uh, going to be a little bit further away uh, on the lower ground here. But Sim is also trying to match that for the time being. It looks like he's able to catch him out there. Imagine going to be trying to see what he can do, but there's also going to be Stadium Fighter moving into this position, making life even more complicated for these two teams, which have taken significant losses. But Dini actually able to spot out Sim M there. And uh, now it looks like only Imagine and Young from our original two teams, the Gold Army Factory and Stage Gaming, still going to be up here. Now, looks like we're going to see if they are going to be pushing inside the building here anytime soon. But for the most part, I think it actually looks like... Uh, uh, see them just trying to chuck in some nades here, see what they can do, and uh, if they can get any of those uh, opportunistic moments here. But it looks like Imagine here are going to be able to get that first moment there as he takes down Shahaya and gets the flush kill there. Speed team moving around the side here, but Dini is going to finish off that last... Gold Army Factory player and now it's up to Young whether or not he's able to avoid detection here. I'm not sure whether or not that the Stadium Fighter guys know what's up here, but they are going to be searching the rest of the building here. But I think Revax got taken out there as he was caught in rotation there. Uh, I think by the Lemon Gaming Gold players. Now, Face Gaming also moving inside the zone for the time being. And uh, we're already seeing that um, very methodical clearance of the building going on by Stadium Fighter. They don't want to be caught out at all by Young G here, but Lion Desert going to be moving around the side. Going to be able to catch out Young G only with the shotgun. 
and not going to deal enough damage to take down Line Desert with the level 2 vest at his disposal. So that's going to be it there for Stage Gaming and also Gold Army Factory. They go out early here. Rogue, uh, Rascal actually getting spotted out just a little bit. He's going to rotate a little bit further away while he tries to secure a good place to play for, for the Face Gaming team. The rest of them are still making their way over as well, but now we're seeing that Middle Puppy Jump putting shots on to Quacker here. They're trading blows here. It looks like Forsen getting eliminated completely, but uh, he did take down Darkus, but the rest of his team not going to be in a position to really help him out too much here. But now we're already seeing that uh, the circle has almost finished its cycle here. ONE Esports still very much on the northern side, but uh, things are still not uh, improving for Quacker. They do have Uplooks all running out in the open here. And he, oh, Kongso actually turned around at the, the that split moment there. I'm not sure whether or not they're going to be able to take him down now, but Uplooks running right past the players. All the Wizards Esports, but Up looks like he's one hit there and he's still tracking quite a bit of fire. He's gonna have to really be lucky to come out of this one, but it looks like his vehicle gonna blow up into a ball of flames. Dinosaur gonna be able to secure the kill on that one. Now, Middle Copy Jump could opt to go for them. I think with that gunfire, they do know that there's the potential threat there. They might opt to actually just go around the compound, not wanting to duke it out anymore. We see Vengeance here moving up from Permorsk, looting up into the last possible moment and going to be start moving towards the center of the circle. But in center circle, we do have quite a number of teams there already. And let's see, the circle going to shift all the way up north here and Physrix Gaming going to be laughing all the way here as they manage to get that good spot. Chorax actually trying to go for that loot crate there. Not sure if he's going to be successful or not. I think he has been spotted by Jay-Z, Jay-Z and the rest of Physrix Gaming already. So he's going to continue to put up some shots uh, in the other direction to see whether or not he can alleviate some of the potential pressure while he tries to navigate through. But he's not popping a, a smoke just yet. I think he's biding his time, but uh, he's going to get spotted out by Jay-Z. Jay-Z, likely he's shooting him in the butt. And now Chill Rex has to pop the smoke for sure, but looks like he's going to get caught out by um, the angle that Jay-Z, Jay-Z and X-Fang did have on him. Now he does the smoke deployed, but there's not going to be much that the rest of the adventure players can do. So not only did they get level 3 gear, most likely Physrix Gaming, but they're going to be able to get that nice loot crate items as well but as we're seeing mass rotations coming out here we're seeing adventure starting to move towards this bridge side here as there's also going to be the, the players of the face gaming making their way over here but now nura actually attracting quite a bit of fire there from uh, the players of uh well njrx actually taking his time to move backwards here i'm not sure if that was intended but uh they're still taking a lot of fire from geek Time on the high ground and NJRX should be safe enough here. It's going to be able to get into cover just in time. But Nura, nice little uh, save there after a lot of pressure there. But now looks like a flip car there. Not going to be good for Frostfire. They have to run out in the open. And uh, really facing all these Lemon Gaming Gold players. Often to take that mounted position. They are going to have that great vision. But it's still going to be difficult for them to secure the kill there at this range. But we're already seeing that other players moving in. We see, we see the middle copy job really going around the edge here just to try and get inside the circle. But we're going to be seeing how the rest of this will be shaping up just a bit. Sorry guys, just dealing with something just for a second there. But uh, we're back here. It looks like Geekfam here under a little bit of fire there as I think Gaventure is actually trained in on their position after taking quite a few hits from them and going to try and return the favor. It looks like Face Gaming taking that compound spot at the moment going to be in a very decent position for them to work with. The other two Geekfam players are going to be a little bit all on the side here. They will be able to offer each other a little bit of cover but it's still going to be a little bit on the difficult side here. Line Desert taking quite a few hits there as Frostfire is setting up shop here on the south side of the bridge but they're going to continue onwards trying to get inside the zone but uh, looks like they will be able to get into North George and try and find a, a decent spot for them to work with here but Flash Vision now facing off against our winners from the past two rounds Roslox D actually getting caught out there by Bunny Hop and looks like Flash Vision will get their first kill on the board here but they are tanking quite a bit of blue damage they're going to have to really 
tall ass as they want to try and get inside as soon as possible here. Really not wanting to deal with too much more damage. There's still the rest of the, the players there from Minico Jump trying to make their life difficult and a lot of shots landing there from Darkus. So he might be able to get the knock there via the blue zone if he's lucky enough. But they actually had to stop to try and get off the heels. But I'm not sure if uh, it's going to be close. But I think, yeah, they do manage to get off the heels there. Uh, G7 going to be landing some shots in back in uh, Middle Copy Jobs direction here. And G7 taking quite a lot of hits. I don't think that he could get the bandage off in time here before. Oh, he just gets it off just in time. So he's going to bandage up a little bit more before he pops the full heal. And they're going to... Well, he's going to have to run. He doesn't actually... Or rather, he does have a UAZ at his disposal. So that could be a little bit of a boost for him to get out of this tricky situation. Circle going to shift further up north here. And other teams on the South George side of things. Vengeance and Frostfire going to have to make their rotation. Oh, ONE Esports here, after going to Severity, have had a very stress-free uh, rotation phase. Just getting into the circle. Not much in the way of teams opposing them right now. Red Sea is starting to move in from Rozog. They've been moving in on foot. So they could be in difficulty should they actually run into too many of these other teams. But currently, they don't have enough distance between them. And uh, actually, it does look as though they do have some vehicles available to them as well. Flash Vision going to be a little bit further north of their position. And Minokopi Job opting to go for a very long rotation through the blue zone just to get a little bit more of a safer uh, spot or route inside the circle. But now we're seeing Quacker here going to run the gauntlet a little bit as they're crossing the bridge now. They're going to attract a lot of fire from Gaventure and most likely from Janks and Savior here. But some wheelies coming out there from Recoils and Skyrex as they're going to get through. But Recoil is actually falling down a little bit here. He's going to take a little bit more damage there. One hit just landing onto him, but nothing too serious. Now, they should be in a decent spot, but it's going to be difficult for them to withdraw from that position, but they don't exactly need to meet up with their other team members. There are only going to be the two of them that's going to be left here in this game. Now, Flash Vision does spot out some of the Red Sea players a little bit on the low ground. So whether or not they really want to force the issue here or not, Blue Zone is going to move in. They do have the zone somewhat here, but Pokoyo is actually moving up around the side here. It might be able to get into a decent spot as we see the rest of the Red Sea players here going to be moving in from the south side and uh, see whether they can move up the hill, get into a decent position. But looks like Flash Vision going to be moving onwards here, trying to get a better spot in get into the later stages of the game. Middle copy job finally making their way inside the circle here. Vengeance really moving late, but uh, they might have problems crossing the bridges a little bit later on. As uh, there's also going to be physics esports making their way on foot here. Now I'm not sure how quickly they can get ahead of the circle here, but they, they might be taking a bit more blue damage than they would have liked. North George, we're going to be seeing the Frostfire guys here, not really opting to take up a position inside uh, the deeper part of the circle. There's just not a lot of compounds there and most teams can kind of guess that probably we can't actually have too much of this going on as there's definitely going to be difficulty in uh, uh, terms of getting ahead of, of the pack there. As uh, we can already see ONE Esports here taking a central position. Phase Gaming took that position quite a long time ago and will be in a decent spot. But might be seeing Jangs and Savior moving closer to Madi and Kenny here have a bit more concerted effort but currently Face Gaming is trying to spot out for Jangs and um, Savior for the time being. Just going to be holding their position for now because uh, now the distance is a little bit great here. I'm not sure uh, they do have a vehicle available to them. They should be able to make that rotation and see if the rest of Geek Fam actually does want to move in a more concerted effort. But we're now we're seeing that Red Sea starting to advance further up the hill. They do have a decent spread going on up the hill and see whether they can get a bit more vision onto Flash Vision. Just going to be still on that edge of the circle, but the circle going to shift very soon here. Team's just going to be happy with most of the positions that they have. Not willing to take too much of a, of a risk fighting in too many battles here if they can avoid it. But currently Flash Vision is currently a bit forced there. But they're taking the opportunity to disable all the vehicles there parked there by Red Sea. As uh, they already had two of them I think, disabled here. But Vengeance in a lot of trouble facing off against Physics Gaming here on the edge of the circle. But it looks like uh, Vengeance is going to get wiped out here. And sorry I wasn't able to catch more of that. But looks like there's losses on both sides. Dinosaur the last player left up here. And uh, actually popping off the... <laughs> The flashbang there, and uh, he's going to get picked off there. Long range by Sepuger. So let me give me gold. Going to finish off that fight. As uh, now the circle going to be shifting all the way here to this north 
Western side, other teams going to make their way in. Jenks and Savior do have a good spot there already. Kenny and Marty going to be moving in, see whether they can join up with them. But actually, they're they're move. Jenks is moving for the the loot crate here. Going to be a little bit on the ambitious side. He does need a helmet, so there's definitely going to be that uh, necessary reason for going for this. But nice little bit of level 3 gear he has available to him as well but he's already attracting fire it's time to go as they continue onwards towards the center of the circle but now Flash is trying to make rotation here with Pokoyo in full range but it uh, looks like he's going to get taken down there by Bunny Hop. Now Papa Zai moving in to see whether or not he can spot out the rest of Flash Vision. Looks like Parapai and G7 going to be further up the hill and Pokoyo getting naded and finished off here but I don't think that uh, um Papa Zayat saw for a second there the exposure, but it looks like G7 is going to be taken down by Hagus. And now Papa Zayat takes down Parapai. There's only going to be Bunny Hop that's going to be left here. And Papa Zayat going to just continue moving in towards the zone. Looks like there's only going to be one Flash Vision player left here. But Papa Zayat taking some long range hits there. I think it's from Lemon. No, it might be from Quacker. Uh, at this stage, but it could also be face gaming. Face gaming also putting a lot of pressure onto all these teams here. They have vacated the compound, getting onto that hill, getting a little bit more vision onto what's going on here. But Zach gonna get taken down there. Recoils from Quacker gonna be able to see him through the windows there, but it looks like he's gonna get taken down as uh, we're seeing NJRX and the rest of the adventure starting to move into the position here. Skyrex currently still looking out there, not going directly for. Oh, he's actually getting shot right through the doorway by Face Gaming. He's going to have to do well to heal up and get to recoils in time. But Quacker is still on the cusp of uh, you know, facing just too much pressure coming in from all these teams. And it looks like Rascal is going to come out with the MK47 shot at long range. Papa Zayat is surely finished there. There's not much that can be done. Joku also taking quite a bit of blue damage. A lot of shots coming out there from Rascal. Might be able to land some shots there. Joku taking one big hit there. And we're already seeing that there's still not a lot of cover available. As he still has quite a bit of distance to traverse. He's actually stopping behind the tree just to get the kill up for the time being. But he's taking a lot of blue damage. And he's just going to continue his run. Let's see what he can do. He's taking quite a few hits there. He managed to get outside the blue zone, but not before Chi is able to take him down. And now there's only going to be Hahogus left. Looks like Recoil is going to get eliminated here as Skyrex is not able to do much. He's just in a really, really difficult spot there. He's getting shot at by Venture from the south side and also by the face gaming on the east. So he really is going to just hang out in that little structure there for the time being, not wanting to press the issue. Shaz and Fyvrin has now spotted out the face gaming guys here and actually realizing how close they are to their position. So they're going to have to just be a little bit careful. They still have three players left alive. Only Zach getting eliminated a little bit early on there after he was caught out. But uh, for the most part, they are going to hang out here on this edge of the circle as we're just going to see how this game is going to be developing further and it's going to shift up to the northeast here. So Mino Copy Jap going to be happy with that one. And there's also going to be Oni Esports going to be occupying this compound. They don't have much advantage over Mino Copy Jap given the kind of terrain here. They can easily shoot through the windows and not going to be a lot of um, the benefits that you normally get from this kind of hardcover. But you would still take the hardcover in this situation if you potentially could. But now we're seeing Bunny Hop trying to put the finishing touches on the How goes currently not able to land enough connections there. Only two, or rather two kills so far here for Bunny Hop. Now, Hagus is continuing to test the waters here. He's priming the nade and uh, looks as though that the feeling is mutual here and there's not much that uh, Bunny Hop could do with that one, but Hagus is going to be able to escape that nade and Red Sea going to be eliminating Flash Vision. Now, 23 minutes into the game and we're already seeing that the, we still have teams in North George. We're going to have to see Stadium Fighter start moving out. So is going to be Physrix Gaming. And they actually had a, a few players there earlier on. It. They caught Chilrex from Gaventure and everything. But now they're going to be only having X-Fang. It's going to be a difficult spot. Gaventure also needs to make their way in. GeekFam currently has a very good position in the central south side of the circle. Looks like Frostfire are going to be very happy on that western side. They're going to be able to uh, traverse inside the circle with minimal issues, I feel. But now it looks like Face Gaming here unloading onto Fyvrin and Lemon Gaming Gold as they're trying to move in. The blue zone is starting to encroach and it looks like Fyvrin here going to be taking that blue damage. But she actually gets shot in the back there by Hagus and uh, he, the smokes are coming out here. But it looks like Shah is starting to move in. He takes down Rascal for 
Nine being in Seraphim here. Gonna be the last player left alive, but Jenks unloading onto Shaz right now. And there's not that a whole lot that can be done here. Seraphim is right in front of him as well. Base gaming gonna eliminate Lemon Gaming Gold. But now Seraphim here attracting a lot of shots there from Jenks and the rest of Geek Fam is they are on the edge of the circle. They got no space to move, but Kenny getting shot there by Rain Zera. But not before. He starts attracting fire there from Stadium Fighter himself as well. But Stadium Fighter has a better, slightly better position, but not before. They're going to see a lot of problems on their north side. Is now Dini going to confirm that kill after Rain Zara bleeds out? But they have Frostflyer that they have to contend with. Teddy going to be here on the higher ground and trying to get some good shots and nades going out here. And see whether or not that they can make it worked get a good pick but currently they're not really pressing the issue here so there's not too much to be worried and looks like that we have the players from quacker skyrex the last player getting taken out by nura so now there's only going to be nine teams left in this game currently everyone is inside the zone already not going to be uh waiting too long or rather wanting to engage too much at these stages of the game and x fang resorting to have to get in in the safest means possible here but he's going to be tanking a little bit of blue damage as the circle completes its next cycle and looking at it it's uh, still going to be quite central uh, if a little bit towards the west side geek fan probably going to be happy with that position oh and esports does have to move out from the compound that they occupied for so long it looks like nora getting the shot there onto savior gonna be a bit far further away but we already seen that Monty and Jang scrambling over to try and get the heals off. Now they do have that terrain advantage for them, but they're not taking no chances and they're gonna get the smokes out. But we see that Hahogus taking out two of the uh, the players from the face gaming and Sarah Beam gonna be the last player out as well as face gaming gets eliminated in ninth position. So Hahogus doing the work here for Red Sea by himself as he's gonna hang out here on this eastern side. But the blue zone is gonna start moving pretty soon and he's on the fast side so he does have all this open terrain to move over but Gaventure also still in a difficult spot they only have the two players left of NJRX and Nura and now Jangs is uh, going to be trying to scope out just a little bit more here we do see that Kenny also putting pressure onto Haha Goose at the moment as well he has the MK14 at his disposal and not afraid to use it but we're already seeing that under the the, the shots going out towards how goes the Gaventure players are starting to move ever so slowly forward here. As uh, now we're already seeing that NGRX and um, uh, Nura moving up, but Nura not able to get the knock there. And uh, instead, it looks like he gets taken down. And but now Savior getting taken down by NGRX. Some nice shots coming out there as uh, he's rotating around the side, but the nade lands right on top of him. And Madi gonna claim that kill. Geek Fam looking strong in this game, having four kills or rather um, having all four players up and three kills to their name. But we're already seeing Minna copy job. Our winners from the last two rounds, can they make it three in a row and match Frostfire's record from last week? So far, they are looking in a decent spot here. They only lost one of their players early on, so that's still going to be in their favor. But they do have ONE still at uh, full strength, going to be coming up from the south side and moving up all the way to the northern edge here trying to get onto that high ground advantage but it's just going to be a bit difficult if the minute copy job players have already scouted them out but esco rex moving over towards the uh, power line at the moment and not going to be spotting them out too much two of them lying prone there dark is going to be high on the, the top of the hill here for the time being where we're seeing steady fighter finally meeting up with crossfire at the moment it looks like line desert getting taken down Dini taking quite a bit of damage here himself. Otara also going to have to pull off the heal. Grissom also facing quite a bit of problems here. But looks like K-Bys Esco Rex line prone there. Did get caught out there as they got surprised there by the rest of the o &E Esports. And only able to knock down one of the players there. Supak Choi moving around the side here. Might be able to get the flank while Darkus is going off for the rest for the time being. But now Sirpak Choi is going to have them in clear view. And it looks like a minimum copy job going to be taken out of the game here. Just outside the top 5 in 6th position. So it looks like they won't be able to get 3 in a row. They can still get 3 chicken dinners and match uh, Frostfire's performance. But Frostfire did have a very good round. Uh, round number 3. And they're still very much in it. 
with this game here. And remember, guys, they did lead at the start of today in the standings. So it's still up for all these other teams to make up the gap there. We did have Preventure in second place, GeekFam in third, and Minocopy Jump in fourth. So we could see completely different standings by the end of this as we are waiting to see how these four rounds for tonight are going to be finishing as uh, GeekFam going to have that dominance over the center of the circle right now and putting pressure onto all these teams still jostling for position on the edges of the circle here but now we're already seeing Teddy and the rest of uh, Frostfire starting to move in but Teddy not able to spot him out the rest of Frostfire is moving in as well trying to see if they can get into a better position but there's something to work with uh, here Makaro oh, avoiding quite a bit of damage here from Grizzon Grizzon moving out of the smoke right into a hail of bullets and that's going to be it for him. Adul going to be the last player left alive. He's probably going to be taking his time to get inside the zone. ONE Esports might be able to spot him out, but it looks like uh, GeekFam is the one that has him spotted out there for the time being. Sirupak Joy going to put the finishing touches, and Adul is going to be out and Frostfire. And now we're only down with four teams here. Looks like Physrix gave me so alive with the solo squad member at the time. And now it looks like Xavier here trying to reduce the pressure, but he takes a big headshot there. And now it looks like uh, the players from Stadium Fighter are moving in. Body spots out Otaro. Takes him down. Now it's only going to be uh, a little bit more pressure coming in from two of the other uh, Stadium Fighter players. And Tupac Choi actually getting uh, spotted out himself there as he's starting to move it. Getting already taken down there. And now Savior moving up, trying to still put pressure on the Stadium Fighter. But there's just a lot of pressure coming in from the other side. Owen Esports manages to get the kill there on the Kenny. Currently, Jang's hanging back here, watching the flank a little bit. He's using the ghillie suit. Uh, but um, still going to get spotted out there, no problem. And now there's only going to be Lion Desert left here. He manages to take down Savior, and currently Body is still there on the high ground. And it looks like after confirming the kill, they're going to be surprised there. As now Geek Fam looks like they have only two players left um, against the the three of ONE Esports, and also there's still going to be one of the players there from Physrix uh, Gaming in the name of Jay-Z, Jay-Z, and now Gangs here is spotted out where Jangs is going to be. He's out of nades here. He's going to have to try and just produce a little bit more cover and see how he's going to catch out Jangs as he definitely needs to rotate. Mahdi is the only one inside the zone for the time being. Now there is this big hill right in the middle of this so we can already see uh, X-Fang here lying prone actually out in the open somewhat as uh, currently there is going to be the high ground that these uh, players from ONE Esports has to work with but the only thing is whether or not they get caught out by X-Fang but X-Fang needs to move in and see whether or not he wants to try and influence proceedings or he's really going to go for the placement points. Jang's here under that Tons amount of pressure there in the smoke right now, but it looks like X-Fang actually does get involved, but he's actually taking down Body there, able to spot him out there from the low ground, but now X-Fang in a lot of trouble here, I'm not sure what he can do, now there's only going to be Jenks who's going to be left, he's running out of the open, Jenks going to get, be able to claim that kill, and ONE Esports able to take away our third chicken dinner of the evening. And they managed to get seven kills in the process as well as they methodically push in from the northern side. They had a very good uh, looting phase, able to really stay out of the flight path and getting those good spots. Yupak Choi going to be leading the way there with three kills. Second place, we see Geek Fan getting on the board quite well there, able to get the, those good placement points there and also get seven kills to boot themselves. Modi leading the way with the four kills. And uh, in third place, we have Physics Gaming as uh, X-Fang able to stay alive as a solo squad member there for the longest part there and able to secure that good placement there for his team. And in fourth spot, we're going to have Stadium Fighter again getting fourth position here two rounds in a row after unfortunately not being able to uh, field a team in round number one. And Dini going to getting six kills in that round as they managed to get 10 kills total. And in fifth place, it is going to be uh, Revax and the rest of Frostfire getting rounding up the top five. Unfortunately, not able to get a chicken dinner yet as they were able to really dominate proceedings in the last uh, round that we had, uh, round number three, last Friday. So guys, I hope you're enjoying the stream and everything. Thank you so much for all the likes and shares. If you did miss out on the action from the previous uh, two rounds of the physics, uh, gaming PUBG scrims, the VODs are available for viewing on my YouTube channel. Have a look at the video, link it in the video description and you will be able to find all the action there. So guys, we will be taking a short break before we have our final round of the December um, Physrix 
Invitational PUBG scrims. So we'll be having that uh, on Miramar in just a little bit.